Razorback Nation Game Day Arkansas alumni snout out. It's my job to say that the next Food Network star will be... What a moment for former Razorback Eddie Jackson. You heard him, uh, you know, you won the Food Network star competition. All the way to the end, it must have been stressful, but you pulled it out. Um, it was stressful. You know, it was one of the, the toughest things I've ever had to do in my life. Really? But, uh, yeah. You played in the NFL. I know, you know <laughs> but I, I think being in the NFL kind of prepared me for that moment. Right. Yeah. So what was it like? I mean, you're a competitor. It had it went the other way. It didn't, but, you, I mean, must, your juices must have been flowing. Yeah, you know, I, 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 people ask me this all the time. I think that that was the most nervous I've ever been in my life. You know really? What I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it made me feel a lot was on the line. Former Razorback Eddie Jackson joining me now. Hey, he won the... The, the, the Food Network star competition. Let's have some uh, look at some of the video of when you won this. What was the dish that brought home the main prize? Uh, our final dish, uh, I made a Caribbean-style meatball dish with a um, sweet potato puree. Right. You know, kind of play on, you know, I'm a trainer as well, kind of play on little healthy elements. Uh, high uh, protein, low carb? High protein, low carb. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Now, where did you learn to cook? Um, you know, I, I grew up with my grandmother very, very early, and then I moved with my dad when I was about 10, and um, that's when I really fell in love yeah. with my, you know, my dad. Take me out on the patio, right. show me around the grill. Right. and stuff like that. See, I thought I could cook, but I'm cooking <laughs> simple things, you know, like bachelor-type things. You're cooking, like, gourmet dishes. Did, what took it to the next level for you? You know what? After I, I played, you know, played professional football, and after I retired, um, I was about 28, and my dad was like, you got your whole life ahead of you. What are yeah. you going to do? He's like, you love to cook, so do something with it. And I did, and I just practiced, 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 and tried to take it to the next level, and here I am. See, that, that goes back to sports and life. If you keep working at it, keep practicing at it. It's so cliche, but it's the truth. Yep. And so now, now Eddie Jackson gets his own cooking show now on the Food Network. You're calling it the Barbecue Blitz. Let's have a look at some of the pictures because filming is going on right now. Tell us about how that's going. It's going amazing. Um, the show is a, is a traveling competition show to where I go in different cities and look for the best chefs in that city and they compete in an amazing atmosphere, kind of like a, a football game. All right, now if we can, let's take a look. A little flashback to Eddie Jackson in his playing days. I know you were a defensive back here at Arkansas. You went on to play in the NFL. Talk to us about how all those experiences turned you into the man you are today. Uh, you know, a lot of hard work. You know, I think I think that sports is the best best feel for that. You know what I mean? Teaching you how to work hard and, and accomplish things. And I think those are the, the traits um, that help me, you know, get to win Food Network Star. Yeah, a lot of people forget that Eddie Jackson also a national champion track. Yeah. You won the national <laughs> track team. You yeah. won two or three national championships. Yeah. Won a couple sake. national championships. I mean, it's ridiculous. This guy's a, a, a dual threat guy. <laughs> so we got about a minute left. Talk to me about this year's Razorbacks. I'm sure you keep up with the team. Mm -hmm. And there's so much excitement about a team that finished last in the West last year. Yeah. But everybody now thinks that they could win the West. That's, that's yeah. a big turnaround. Yeah, a huge turnaround. You know, I'm a defensive guy, so I'm really yep. looking forward to today to see what those defensive backs are going to do. Uh, I'm excited. You know, I, I had a chance to talk to a couple of those guys, man, and, they're, and the look in their eyes, they're ready. I tell you what, the defensive backs may be as good this year as they've been in a long, a long time. time, and that's why I made it a point to come to this game. So last year they shut out back-to-back -back SEC teams. Yeah. You are a defensive specialist. Do you think they can live up to the what they did last year? You know what? I think it. You know, if they just take care of their business one game at a time, you know, and not listen to the outside mm -hmm. hype, I think they'll be all right. What's important today? You know, it's UTEP. You don't want to show everything, exactly. but uh, you know, you want to get out there and knock the rust off. Exactly. You know, it, being this is the first game they're playing UTEP, you still got to go out there and strap up. You you know what I mean? And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that these guys come out there and do that today. All right, can you tell us real quick where we can see your new show? Give us your Twitter uh, yeah, handle so, and all man, that jazz. Yeah, so you can follow me, Fit Chef Eddie, on everything. Fit and, Chef Eddie, Fit all Chef right. Eddie, you know, uh, Fit I'm going to do that right now. You yeah, know what I'm Fit Chef Eddie. <laughs> and my show, uh, Barbecue Blitz, um, airs October 9th on Food Network um, at 1030 uh, Eastern and 930 Central. All right, set your DVRs and check Barbecue Blitz out. Now, do me one favor. you got to make me promise. Next time you're on our show, you got to bring me some of that barbecue. I'll bring you some barbecue. All right, man. I got you. Thanks for joining me, right, man. Brother, no all right. problem. Hey, Bo Maddie is joining me next with some analysis.